वेलकम बैक एवरी वन इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट स्टेट इवेंट एंड ब्लॉक आर द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फ्लटर ब्लॉक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू क्रिएट स्टेट इवेंट एंड ब्लॉक नाउ हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस काउंटर एप प्रोजेक्ट एंड इन द मेन नॉट डॉट फाइल यू कैन सी दर इज अ मेन मैथड एंड इन द रन एप आई एम कॉलिंग माई विजिट दिस माई एप इज एक्सटेंडिंग द स्टेटलेस विजिट इन द बिल्ड मैथड it is returning a material app and in the home i have passed home page this home page is extending stateless widget and in the build method there is a scaffold which is having a app bar having the text as counter block and in the body i have taken a column widget in the column widget as a children i have taken a text widget having the initial value as 0 after that there is a sized box then i have taken a row widget and i have taken two floating action button and for the first floating action button in the child i have taken the plus icon and for the second floating action button i have taken minus as a icon if i run this project then you will see the output like this now my requirement is that whenever i will click on plus then its value will increment by 1 and whenever i will click on minus its value should decrement by 1 in this video i will discuss how to create the three main components that is state event and block in the leaf folder i will create a new folder named as counter block and as a first file here i will create counter state dot dot sorry d a r t okay now first of all here i will create a abstract class and i will give the class name as let it be counter state so first of all i am creating the state okay and in this class i will declare a variable counter having the initial value as 0 and then i will use this counter state class constructor in the constructor i will make a required parameter required and here i will use this dot counter so our first class is created that is the abstract class named as counter state after that here i will create one more class named as counter initial state and what this class will do it will extend the counter state class here i will create the constructor and with the help of super i will call counter and i will pass the initial value as 0 after that let me copy this paste it here i will create one more class counter and i will name it as increment state and it will also contain the constructor and here i will pass the value as int increased counter and to the super in the counter named parameter i will pass the value of increased counter similarly i will copy this paste it here i will name it as counter decrement state and the variable name will be decreased counter and in the counter named parameter here i will pass decreased counter so our counter state class is created now i will create counter event so i am creating a new file named as counter event here also first of all i will create a abstract class and i will give its name as counter event sorry now i will create a class counter increment event 
which will extend the counter event and I will copy this paste it here and I will name it as decrement event. If you remember in the last video I told you that whenever the user interacts means whenever the event will be generated that event will go to the block ok. So, for if you see this output whenever I will click on this plus button at that time this counter increment event will be generated and whenever I will click on minus counter decrement event will be generated. So, our event is also generated now we need to create the block. So, in the counter block folder new file counter block dot dot here I will create a class named as counter block which will extend block and here I need to specify the corresponding event and state. So, here the event will be counter event and state will be counter state. Now, here I will create the constructor and to this constructor I will use super and to this super I will pass the initial state of counter that is counter initial state. Okay. Now, here I will use on after that I need to specify the name of the event. So, the name of the first event will be on off counter increment event. and here I need to use emit because in the last video I told you that whenever the event is generated after that the block generates the state and to generate the state here we need to use this event the, this emit is of type emitter. So, here we need to use emit and after that which state will be generated for counter increment event counter increment state will be generated. So, here we need to pass counter increment state and here we need to pass the modified value of counter and from where I will get the counter from counter state. So, state dot counter whatever will value the counter whatever is the value of counter I will increment plus 1 with that value ok. And after that let me copy this and again I need to use counter decrement event and to this decrement event here we need to call counter decrement state and instead of incrementing the value by plus 1 now we need to decrement the value by minus 1. So, this is how we need to create the block event and state. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.